Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to delete data from the database. And in previous video, we have seen how to edit and update. So before getting started with the deletion, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Do follow me on my Instagram as well. Let's get started. So in previous video, we have seen how to edit and update data. In this video, we will see how to delete the data. So let's open our code. So this was the updation code. So let's go to index.php. So in index.php, we have a table header edit. So we'll copy paste this and rename this as delete. And coming back here, we'll have a TD. So inside this, create a button. Submit. Button type should be submit. And we'll be naming this as delete. Let's give a class for this button. So class btn btn danger so here we'll have name for button we'll say delete button let's go back and reload so here we have got delete button so once this button is clicked it has to delete the data it has to take the id also id of particular user and delete so that we'll have an input tag input we'll make this hidden and we'll tell name is equal to id I mean input name is id we have to pass the particular user's value so we will copy this and give value here so value is equal to pass this id that's it if you want any form control you can copy from here and paste it here but then it is hidden it will not be shown no problem with that so we have given the name as id or we will give delete id delete id so once this button is clicked it has to perform the action so let's copy this name of the button so before that this has to be inside a form so this form will direct to particular page where the action has to perform so form of post so this will be inside code.php so cut this form and paste it here align this so now when I click on this button, it will go to code.php with the post method. So copy this button name and go to code.php. So here we will have delete if a set of dollar post of the button. If that button is clicked, what it has to do? It has to take the ID and delete. So we will give ID is equal to dollar post of dollar post of what was the name of the id delete id copy this delete id and paste it here now write the query so delete query is equal to delete from user users where id is equal to this id so copy paste this and write run query delete query run is equal to using mysqli query connect the database as well as the dollar delete query once this is done using if condition check if the data is deleted or not so copy this and paste it inside the if condition if the data is deleted, it will print an if part. Else, we are using session. Copy the code from here. Session of message. Data deleted successfully. Return back to index. So, if it is not data not, not deleted. Deleted successfully and return back to index page itself. So, let's go and check how the code has been working. And let me click on the ID number 6. So, here let me go back and refresh. When I click on this delete button, the data is deleted. It is giving us a message, hey, data deleted successfully. So, let's go back and reload here. So, you can see ID number 6 got deleted. Here, if you see, the 6 is automatically deleted and it is directing back to the index page itself. Let's have a recap of what has been done. So here in previous video, we had only the edit part. In this video, we have added delete, deleted particular user's data. When I click on one, only one has to delete. So let us go to the code. This was my index page. What I have done is, I have given the table header delete 
and inside is I have given a table data. Use the button for this. Type is submit and the name is delete button. And I have given a text and given the style for it, which is danger. So we need ID. So we are using input. We are making it as hidden and we are giving name for this ID as well, which is delete ID. And we are passing the value of that ID, which has been fetched. We are retrieving that here. Using this ID, we are going to delete. Input tag should be inside form. So this is inside of form. Once this delete button is clicked, it is going to code.php with the post method. So in code.php, what have we done is we have checked if that button is clicked. We are taking the ID and giving the condition delete from user where ID is, which ID that user is clicking. Once if it is deleted, we are writing in if else we are writing in else part. So we are redirecting back to the index page. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.